<laughs> Good evening, everyone. Let me know when you get on that you're here and that you can hear and see us okay, please. Thank you. See how polite that was? Everyone. Sorry for speaking over you. I'm just um, full of excitement and I can't stop moving because yeah, of it. I know. <laughs> Uh, this is good. I'm uh, excited for uh, another wonderful episode of our well, freelance fast lane happy hour. Hopefully, we can get some uh, some people on, some more exciting things going on, help some people uh, start and grow their freelancing careers. In the meantime, while folks show up, I'm just trying to get a few more people rounded up. Sure. <clears throat> so while you do that, I guess uh, I'll start babbling about some other stuff. Um, we have uh, been working pretty hard behind the scenes. Uh, a lot of cool stuff, stuff that you guys may not even ever see, uh, which sounds kind of weird, but um, we spend a lot of time every day working on how to make this platform and community better. Um, and that goes down to making sure interactions are easier and um, customer transactions are better and, and just the whole experience overall. Um, so we spend a whole lot of time looking through information and analytics and trying to make sure that the, the system is running as well as it can for you guys. Um, some of the things are um, promoting our premium sellers a little bit heavier. Uh, some of the things are making it easier for people to, to search and find things. Uh, making it easier for people to check out, make it easier for people to message on the platform. Um, so there's a lot of good things going on behind the scenes. And uh, <clears throat> I think a lot of that we have to credit to our community uh, for coming up with uh, the good ideas, for helping provide feedback, uh, for working together with us. And um, I really just wanted to, to take a moment to appreciate everyone who, who pitches in and helps grow the community and, and helps provide ideas and, and uh, feedback and all that good stuff. Because uh, I think without that, um, or I guess maybe with that, we're all better. So I'm appreciative of that. Excellent. Simo says, hey there. Hello, Simo. What's up, Simo? And let's see what else. I think I've shared this in just about all the places I can for the moment. All right. There's a few all folks right. starting to show up now. So <clears throat> Adam says hello. Hello, Adam. Somebody beat you here, though. So why does it do that? <clears throat> So uh, you're not you weren't the first one here, Adam. So you're gonna have to get demoted. I'm I'm sorry to break it to you. It's first one on Facebook though, so uh, you get half a point. Adam just made his first. He uh, signed his first recurring cu a customer on Legit today. I nice, good job, Adam. Excuse me. I said, good job, Adam. Oh yeah. Simo says that your platform seems to be promising. Keep up the good work. Thank you. We will. Thanks Thank for the kind you. words. Brian says, hi, Chris and Jim. Hello, What's Brian. Up, Brian. Always a pleasure. Adam says, ha ha. Is that a smiling face with the tongue out? I think so, but it's like upside down. I don't hmm. even know what character that is. I don't know either. It's a D. Duh. Well, I mean, yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> Adam says, thanks. Brian says he just got his first order last night. Awesome. Congratulations. That's that nice makes, job. That makes me so happy. I know you've been putting in the work and I know it's been a while that you've been on. So I'm glad to see some of the, uh, the stuff you've done recently has paid off and you do some great work. So patience, persistence, and hard work. That's true. I think, uh, <clears throat> you know, we've had a lot of people who've recently had uh, some good success stories. And I think, one of the things we can definitely attribute that to is showing up and putting in the work. Um, you know, there have, there's definitely a trend in people who show up to the live streams, who participate in the legit Monday, 
uh, who participate in the roundup, uh, who actually put effort in. Uh, I think those people are are the ones who are starting to see that those results. Um, so you know, success leaves clues. Uh, put in the work, and uh, it's going to come back to you. Excellent. I wish I had one of those soundboard things where I could have like the crowd clapping right now. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna invest in one of those. We'll have to work on it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're called, but you know what I mean. I do. Adam says, "Congrats, Adam. You look so serious in your profile picture, but like, I, the, from what I know of you, that like, doesn't fit your personality at all. You're very like happy and go outgoing, but you look all intense." Sure. Do you have anything else we can get into, Jim, while we're waiting for some more people to show up? Um, we could, actually. And uh, you did remind me of this uh, when you congratulated Adam. The uh, His recurring sale uh, reminded me of the fact that that's a it's a good opportunity to upsell and keep customers coming back. Um, and I don't know what you sold, Adam, so maybe you can fill us in. But um, recurring services are... Um, part of the premium level for, for sellers. Um, so they have the ability, once you become a, a premium user, to offer recurring services like a monthly website hosting or maintenance or social media management. Um, and there are uh, actually a number of people who've started to take advantage of that and, and gotten a good amount of sales from it. Uh, so it's a nice thing to offer. Um, first of all, customers like it because it allows them to get a service that they like without having to remember to place the order every month. Uh, and also it works for you because you've got a nice recurring source of income that you don't have to go out and sell. You're just, you got that customer coming in over and over again. Um, so definitely something to check out if you have not yet. Yeah. One thing I've done, I haven't done it with all my services yet, but I've gradually started adding a monthly version of all of them. Just literally the exact same thing, thumbnail description and everything just, it's a recurring service one because you never know <laughs> and two like it just makes i have people that order for me every month and i want to take that can give them that convenience and then of course you know it's good for me too yeah absolutely you know i think it's uh it's also good if you sell a like adam i'll use you as an example you have a, a web design service um so when you offer a web design service you now have an upsell to your customer that you can offer them a monthly maintenance package because you know that they're going to need someone to maintain the website that you just built. Uh, and you know that they're in the market for some someone to do that. Uh, so it gives you a nice uh, upsell path if you uh, take advantage of it. And I think, uh, you know, if you get creative, no matter what you sell, uh, even if you sell like, um, you know, let's say you sell creative videos. Um, even if you offer a service that says, hey, I'll make you, uh, two videos per month that you can use on your social media platform. Um, you know, I think there's an application if you if you are willing to get a little creative that uh, would work for everybody. I agree. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I actually hadn't even thought of the video thing, but the main, you know, the, the obvious ones are like the website maintenance and social media and SEO or whatever. But you can get creative too. But even if you just, there's literally no reason not to have a monthly version of everything you sell too. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Andre says, Hey, what's up guys? What's up, Andre? Brian says, that's it guys talking to about what we said it needs. You need to do to succeed. I believe Adam says, ha ha. Yes. I'm not exactly, er, exactly. I'm not serious at all. Yeah. I know you aren't. <laughs> Simo says I'm switching to your Facebook live right now. Cool. Wherever you'd like, wherever you're most comfortable. Wasslist says, hi, Chris, Jim, and everyone else. Hope everyone is doing good. I'm always doing good, Wasslist. I hope you are, too. I know it's a little past some people's bedtimes, but other parts of the world are just uh, getting going. I know it's late by my standards, although I probably will be up still for a while because, you know. Not on Instagram today because there's no way that I know of to – make this all work together so they're missing out they are <clears throat> well we've uh, we've teased it a bit there so hopefully those people got the notice and yeah. uh jumped on here
Watson is actually a good example of someone that you, what you were saying before. He's been showing up to the live streams and participating in the community. He signed up and he's got a, a Twitter marketing service, a management, whatever you want to call it. And he already has two recurring clients. Granted, it's you and me, but you know, it's something I was in the mood, the, not the mood for, in the market for anyway. So it's just, you know, show up, participate. Yeah. I mean, look, uh, it's, uh, it's, I think, a great endorsement of showing up and putting in the effort and offering a recurring service. Um, you know, now, if you do the right thing and, and deliver a good product, you've got two really good testimonials to put on your service page that, you know, you managed uh, the profiles for these people. Um, and I don't, I don't mean this to sound arrogant in any way, but people tend to like seeing that sort of thing. Um, so I think that carries a lot of weight when you go to try and sell to someone else, um, you know, your, your past experience and your testimonials, uh, are, are a good benefit. Adam says, well, I agree strongly. And yes, I'd like to thank you because it was your idea to publish it. Now I'm managing two sites in the first two weeks and I was hesitated about legit premium membership, but for now I will use it always. Also the new premium badge is amazing and very important. Let's bring that up so we, people can see what he's referring to. And because I want to keep the site on the screen, how transparent I am, like, even when I have ulterior motives. I went for the more subtle route, just threw it right back over, over there. Say what? I said I went for the more subtle route and threw it on the computer ah. screen right over there. Subtle's never really been my strength. So there are two badges, but I th the first one is, uh, let's see, this blue check mark. And you know, by the way, you'll notice that almost all of the top selling services are premium sellers, except for maybe one or two, just saying. And then the other thing he's talking about is just. You could pull up a service if you want to, that'd be good. I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> this, this sexy animated premium seller banner. Those are uh, those aren't really the benefits of it. I mean, although those are trust things, it's mo that's more of a style thing. But there are a lot of advantages to it as well. But I believe this is what Adam was talking about, and he can correct me if he wants to. But yeah. So uh, let's see what other questions we have. <sighs> legit says or Wassla. Wassla says legit is definitely the best freelance site on the web. Well, that's nice to hear. Thank you. We happen to agree. There again, not I'm being completely biased, but I've also been extremely successful on other freelance platforms, so it's not complete bias. And I'm screenshotting that by the way. Anytime you say something nice, just be be aware there's a good chance I'm going to keep it. Brian says, I got at 4 a.m. to listen to Water Cooler, but it wasn't on. So I started listening to the second April SEO Academy that was a little difficult. A few problems, this. I'm not sure what, your, uh, what they were, but I'd be happy to help you sort them out later on. Wasslis says, I don't see any other freelance marketplace that has CEOs that actually interact with the community. Well, community is a big part of what my vision for Legit was, and that's partly because that's, through all of my careers, and I say that like I'm, you know, been around, but I've had three basically, and that's always been how I was able to succeed. Succeed was through community, whether it was when I worked in pol politics, whether it was when I worked in retail, or when doing what I do now. I think community is the most powerful thing. It's the most important thing, in my opinion, too. So it was when I came up with the concept of legit along with Jim. That was one of the cornerstones of of it. And I'm glad to hear that you actually, that people actually appreciate that. So I think that it actually, I don't know how to say this in a nice way, but some people I know on legit that have struggled, that have been reluctant to participate in the community. I think that that's why, because I know they offer good services and they haven't gotten as much as some people that offer comparable services that have been active and been out there. So it's an important part of it, but it's also just a value of its own too. Adam says, yeah, it gives the client trust. Brian says, I think it was the platform, Chris. Okay. 
Wasla says, yeah, it definitely plays a huge role. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, it's. A, I don't. I don't really know what else to say that I haven't said. Maybe you want to comment on the value of community, but yeah. Yeah, I think um, you know we always uh, tease the phrase, you know, built by freelancers for freelancers. Um, you know, I think it's it's important to understand like this is not something that just Chris and I decided to build for the sake of hey, let's have a marketplace. Um, it was built with a need to have a better marketplace and a better community that solved a lot of problems that we saw as service providers. Um, you know, and I think that that's something that is important. Like I was saying earlier that the, the more we stay in touch with the community and, and come up with creative solutions to real world problems, um, you know, I think it, it benefits everybody. And, um, you know, this is not something that, you know, like I said, we're just doing for the sake of doing this is a, this is a real passion project for the both of us. Um, and I think if you know either one of us, there are plenty of times when we've been at our desk working on this at four o'clock in the morning. Um, and you know, I think that's a, a testament to how much passion we have for, for helping you guys. Yeah. And, you know, I've never been the type of marketer that just, you know, fires, fires a bunch of ads out there and just assumes that, that pushing that button will get me sales either, which there, that's, I'm not necessarily, it sounds like I'm disparaging that model and maybe I am a little bit, but it does work for some people. But for me, that's not good enough. Like that just treats people like numbers. And I don't think that that's, whether that works or not, as far as making money, it's not the legacy I want to leave and not the kind of business and product I want to do. I want to create something that gets people excited and changes their life, not just, you know, info product number 10,000 that makes a lot of money, but doesn't really affect people on the level that I want to. So, yeah, I agree. I think, um, you know, that actually, uh, reminded me a little bit of a conversation I was having with one of the freelancers last night about, um, why he prefers to work on legit compared to a different platform. And, and, uh, you know, he was saying basically like in the dispute process or any of the way that the platform interacts with its sellers, um, it always sides on the side of the buyer. And, um, you know, I think that's an important thing to consider here that, you know, in the instance we come up with a dispute or, or we need to get involved in, in moderating services. Um, we don't just blindly say the buyer is always right because we want them to keep buying services. Um, you know, we tend to look at the situation as a whole, figure out who the right and wrong person is, uh, you know, as much as possible and, and do the right thing, whether it's, you know, benefiting the, the buyer, the seller, whoever. Um, and, you know, I think that that goes to the longer vision is, is just doing the right thing and, and providing that platform that's going to help people grow and, and go from there. I would add to that that I don't think of I think of everyone on the platform as a customer, whether it's a freelancer, whether it's a I don't like the terms buyer and seller, but whether it's a buyer, whether it's a seller, I think of them all as customers, as opposed to thinking of just the people that spend money as customers. Therefore, we're going to make the right decision based on the available information of the case, regardless of who that decision ends up with. And unfortunately, that's going to there's always going to leave somebody upset. But I think if we can show that we do what we think is right most of the time. It can mitigate that as much as possible. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> Craig says, hey, all. Hey, Craig, always a pleasure. Adam says, after doing a success, then the next step is building a team and finding two trusted persons who do good job is the most difficult part in the freelance business. For me, I will think I will fail if I didn't do that as soon as possible. So I think what he's saying is to get people it's important to get people to help him. And I would agree with that. That was a big stumbling block for me for a long time. As recently as 2017, I was doing literally everything myself. So from the fulfillment to the marketing to everything. And then I found some staff that really changed things for me. Wasless says, you can definitely tell that you guys are freelancers yourself and want to make it the best marketplace possible. Well, thank you. I've I've had a lot of success with freelance. I mean, a lot of success with freelancing legit was built. The money that it took to build legit was built on money. I made from freelancing on another platform and uh, well, a few other platforms. So that I, I applied that knowledge and that, and the seeing the gaps in the market to what we did here. 
Simo says, what I notice about your website is that few buyers are interested in graphic design, but designers are numerous, which makes it hard for designers like me to get recognized, even if they're good. I don't totally agree with that, but it's not without its truth. Um, I've definitely seen in the last eight weeks or so, like m probably about a 25% increase in the amount of people buying graphic and video and creative services. But you're right, originally the people that were on legit were mostly people that knew me and most of my background was in SEO. So it's definitely SEO heavy, but it's something that has gotten better and is expanding as time goes on. And if you, you know, as if you do great work, you can and get like those first couple sales, which we can talk about if you are having trouble with, um, you can get into it. So do you want to add to that or? Yeah. I mean, I definitely, I don't think you're wrong. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of, um, uh, designers on the marketplace. Um, but you know, one example comes to mind and, um, you know, I think if you, like we were saying earlier, if you do the right thing by your customers, if you put yourself out there and engage, um, if you offer up some cool sample work, if you participate in live streams, um, those sort of things tend to help get you primed and started. Um, you know, there, there are people who can offer a service that 500 other people already started offering. But if you come out with a good attitude and good customer service and a good product and get yourself out there, you're going to start to build momentum. Um, you know, one of the things about this is, is you really can't just put up a service and then sit back and wait for sales. Um, it's just, it's, it's not really the right way to do it. I mean, it's, it's almost like, um, renting a, a store down the block and, um, you just get some product and open the door and hope that customers start walking in and paying you. Uh, you know, you need to get out there and, and do some marketing and, and tell your neighbors about your service and tell your family and your friends, um, you know, introduce yourself to the community and try and get some attention. So I think that same theory applies here. Just you have to get out there and, and uh, make a name for yourself. And I'd be happy to look at your service right now, if you'd like, by the way. And you, know, you might want to mention, uh, I think Kamara would be a kind of exa good example of what you were just talking about, if you want to yeah. talk about his story a little bit. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Kamara's story, I don't know if he's on, but... Um, I think not, I don't think. I don't want to embarrass the guy. Um, his story is probably one of my favorite stories on the JIT that I've ever seen. Um, we, <laughs> the morning that we launched the job board, um, and if you're not familiar with the job board, Chris can probably pull it up and show us in a bit, but... Um, the job board was an area where if you need a service done, you can go on and list the job and then freelancers can apply and say, I'll do your service for uh, this amount of money in this time frame. Um, <clears throat> so the, the morning that we launched it, uh, I actually just wanted to test and make sure everything was working with some live traffic. And I put up a service to redesign a logo. And I think it was a, maybe a $10 service. I don't think it was anything crazy. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> Kamar applied. It was, he had, I think, zero reviews at the time, but he uh, provided a good proposal that wasn't just like random copy and paste. He actually took the time to read what I was asking for, gave me a, a good response. I picked him to do the service. Uh, meanwhile, he didn't know who I was. I didn't know who he was. Um, but uh, he applied. I, I offered him the job. And then once he accepted, I told him, you know, we wanted to, to come up with a little bit of a rebrand for the, the legit logo. Um, <clears throat> so here's a guy who just signs up for legit, goes out there and, and applies himself and makes an offer on a job. Um, I think he happened to hit the lottery with the one that he picked. But um, he did a killer job, uh, gave us a ton of information. And then uh, because of that, got the opportunity to essentially redesign the brand of legit um, all for putting in the work and, and trying. So uh, now because of that, he's actually been able to <laughs> leverage that exposure and the testimonials from it to offer a couple other services that kind of complement that same style. Um, and now he's putting in the work, he's on the platform, he's on the live streams, he's in the community, he's participating in Legit Mondays. Um, and I think it's a great example of someone who goes out there and tries and participates in the things that we try and offer the community, uh, does a good job, communicates with their customers, um, provides good value. Uh, that type of person is 
is going to go further faster than someone else who's just going to sit back and wait. Uh, so the more active you are and the more you try and engage the community, the, the better off you'll be. Uh, just one thing you left out, that was actually his first day on the platform. So I think that makes it even more. Yeah. Kismet or whatever you want to call it. So anyhow, Simo, if you want to share your service, I'd be happy to take a look. Uh, Paula says, hi, Jim. Hi, mom. <laughs> Last list says at Simo, you could offer some graphic services that are very unique, like not just generic logos, maybe covers for sellers and something really specific out of the box. If that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely try to be, to come up with creative angles. Ahmed Abraham is another one who does a lot of graphic stuff and he has this like whole Dragon Ball Z theme to his stuff that I think makes it stand out as well as the quality of the work. But I think that that's a unique angle that he took that has worked well for him. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if uh, Chris, you want to pull up his question again real quick. Um, no, Simos, sorry. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go on an assumption and say you may probably drew your own profile photo there, but uh, if you did, and if that's a service that you would offer, um, that might be a nice one because uh, you can go out and say, Hey, um, I noticed that you're an awesome seller, you know, work with the community and, and try and engage um, and say, Hey, do you want me to help you out and make a new uh, profile logo or just make one, you know, find a top seller who, um, you know, maybe has a really great um, list of services and has a bunch of reviews, but they maybe have a, a really not great looking profile photo or not one at all. True. Uh, make them a, make them a profile photo. Um, not only is it a great way to get yourself out there and get some testimonials, but also start building some relationships. Um, you know, I think that's, that's one thing we've talked about briefly in the past, but I haven't seen enough of, and, uh, I think it would be a huge, huge asset to you guys. Um, if you were to work together in the group a little bit more to find ways to complement each other's services. Um, so for people who offer, uh, I, I'm drawing a blank on a, on an example, but. Um, let's say you offer website design and you have a really good recommendation for a friend who offers uh, a recurring marketing service. Uh, you could offer that freelancer who you know just got a brand new website, a recommendation to, hey, now that you have this new website, why don't you check out my friend's service over here? He does X, Y, and Z. Um, and obviously don't be spammy about it, but uh, you know, I think that there's a lot of opportunities to work together and, and help build each other up. I actually know someone that could use an, a new profile pit photo too. So Ken says, haven't been involved lately, but interested in doing a service, but should we focus on just one thing or offer a few things at the same time? I <laughs> the best advice there would be one lane. And what I mean by that is you don't want to offer like logo design and PBN links and content writing. I mean, I suppose you could, but I think that's going to confuse people a little bit. So I think you would want to stay in one vertical. Do you agree with that? I do. I mean, that's, I mean, there are a few people that branch out and I have a couple that kind of like go outside of it a little bit for the most part though. I think that you're going to be better to have focus one, but as far as you don't have to get too specific, like you can't, you don't have to do just one type of one service or just links or anything like that, you know? So I hope I answered that. Thomas says, I think that the, I think this virus pandemic has increased the number of people playing video games. Does legit have a category for people who can coach players or players looking for coaching? Is that a thing? It is actually. And uh, it's something I was reading an article the other day that uh, there is a, a increase in demand for people who are uh, looking for gaming coaches. Oddly enough. Um, so yeah, there's a, I don't think there's anyone who's offering that service currently, but, uh, if you're out there watching and, and you think you'd be a good coach, then there's a market for it. Uh, which actually reminds me, there's a, uh, speaking of graphic design, there are a lot of gamers who like, uh, I'm going to draw a blank in the right term, but they have this, their own logo for themselves, their avatar. Avatars. Uh, but, uh, I've seen an uptick in, in people looking for those. Um, so that might be a good avenue to, to go down as well. Okay. Brian says, Chris, are you able to find the time to look at my proposal I sent for the job search? You mean the, the Shopify store? I have not really decided. I don't really have time to give anybody that job right now. 
was just redesigning it for someone that I know. So, Lastly, sales and faces work great as they attract engagement. On a freelance marketplace, they probably attract sales. Yeah, they definitely do. In fact, uh, we've looked at this before, but I'm going to do it again because I haven't brought site on screen in a few minutes. Um, if you look, some of the top selling services, this guy has his face in it and is as his profile picture. This handsome devil has himself in the thumbnail and in his profile picture. This one is an exception. This one has himself in his profile picture. This one has himself in his profile picture. This one has it both in the thumbnail and in the profile picture. So I think I've made my point, right? That for the most part, the people that have, that show themselves are going to do better. That seems to work better. So I guess that was my long sh shoe way of saying I agree. And it's backed by evidence. It's not just opinion. So Simo says, that's a great idea. I'm definitely trying that. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you, Simo. That's what we're here for. I think that's, uh, <clears throat> just to go back on that point, that's the entire reason for this uh, for this live stream and, and for the, the ones we do, uh, you know, Legit Mondays and, and even your daily ones that you do hanging out by the water cooler over there. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you guys take the time to show up, we are willing to invest our time to help you figure out opportunities for what to sell, how to sell, how to fix your service profile, um, you know, we're here to help you guys grow, uh, but it it's you know, you know it's a uh, two people need to the be wow I can't talk two people need to participate in that process. So if you guys are willing to show up, we're willing to work with you. But uh, let's make it happen. Cool. Thomas says provide written materials. Who holds the copyright? Is that between the parties? That's covered in our terms of service, I believe. It is. Uh, Wasla says, good luck at Simo. I'm not going to pronounce the last name because I don't want to butcher it, but good. Good to see the connection being made. Simo says at Wasla, uh, my service is a bit general. I'm a sort of a Photoshop expert. So my service is literally whatever you need me to do with Photoshop, I will do it. See, that's, it sounds like the, you're not thinking about that. And I, I'm not trying to pick on you, but you're not thinking about it from a marketing angle. You're just, you're like, I can do anything. So the fact that you can do anything means you can offer it in a bunch of different ways. Maybe you can create, like, uh, I guess those would be called caricatures, like what you have in your profile picture. And I'm not an artist, so I don't know. Or you can do editing, or you can create logos, banners, whatever. So you have, like, a lot of options to offer the same thing, if that makes sense. Mark says, hey, boo. Hey, Mark. Hi, hey, Mark. Uh, that must be someone you know. Okay. <laughs> Wasla says, Simo, yeah, I think if you focus on something more specific, like the face idea, it would be better and try to be active like Chris and Jim said. Wasla, you're really catching on to this stuff really fast. I think you're going to do very, very well. Paula says, I'm a grandma. Well, I have a hard time believing that. But what could I sell? How do I get started as a freelancer when I don't know what to sell? We, I think we can both tackle this, but since this sure. is... DNA for you. I'll let you go first. <laughs> I'll go first. So this is a, a a pretty good question. I think a lot of people have like they don't know they don't know where to start. They don't know what to do. Like you know, you might not be a computer expert. You might not be a Photoshop expert. Uh, but you have to look at what are the things, either the the skills that you've built in your career, uh, or the skills you've just built up in your life, or your passions, and how you can apply them for other people. Um, you have to also not think that there's not a market for it because there's always a market for anything. There's a market for people who are looking for a coach to play video games. Uh, there's a market for whatever you could possibly imagine. So um, you can go one of two ways, um, kind of the, the default catch-all that I think is um, good for anyone to offer. Uh, you could offer yourself to do video testimonials. Um there's always going to be someone out there and it could be a medical website, could be someone looking for reverse mortgages who's looking for someone in your demographic to put on their homepage that says, I had a great experience with such and such mortgage company on my, on my uh, reverse mortgage. Uh, I'd highly recommend them. They were great. Um, so, you know, if, if someone is looking for 
a grandma to make a video testimonial and no one's offering it, no one's going to buy it. But it's not going to cost you anything more than a couple minutes to go and create the profile and offer it for sale. Uh, so you have to put yourself out there and engage with the community and, and actually make the effort to, to try. And then, uh, you know, I think the more that you're willing to put in the effort, the more rewards are going to come back. You kind of you kind of stole my answer, so I, I can't really add to that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Craig says I see a lot of logo designers, but not a lot of YouTube channel banner designers. Both the, that's that's a great point. There's like I only know of like one or two thumbnail creators, and Lord knows I could use that because I've been recycling the same ones for a while now, and I you've, most of you have seen my work, so you know that it's not something that can be left to me. So yeah, I agree. And the channel art on YouTube is freaking impossible to get sized right. So someone that would be that's good at that should definitely offer that. That's a nightmare to get it to show up right on like all the possible devices. So I agree as once again, the summation of my 200 words. Ali says, hey, I must have missed a lot. What's today's live about? Hope you guys are well. First of all, we are well. Um, we're just talking about freelancing in general for the most part. Anything you need to talk about, how to make a sale. Uh, Waslist says you could try blog images as legit is very SEO focused, Simo. Dude, you guys need to connect. <laughs> this has been a great conversation. Just, you guys have been a big help to each other. Brian says, no, I mean my write a catchy proposal, not in the job itself. Not sure what you mean, Brian. Wasla says, thanks, Chris. I've been definitely, joy definitely enjoyed my first week on legit. That makes me very happy. Thank you. Simo says, Wasless, thanks so much, by the way. It's nice to have such connection with people here. Bam. That's literally what we've just been talking about, right? I agree. That's, uh, that's what this community is for. That's what these live streams are for. That's what our Facebook group is for. This is, I mean, this community is, I think, what sets us apart from any other freelance platform. It's not just where you want to go and buy and sell because you guys can do it anywhere, but... Um, you know, the, the intangible value is, is what we all bring to each other. And I think the more that we work together and the more that we, we work as a community, the more problems we can solve and the more we can help each other. Yep, yep, yep. Ken, it's always a pleasure, Ken, by the way. I'm glad you can make it tonight. Haven't examined the job search yet, but does it show what others are looking for or just a search for what we want? Well, that's kind of a, you kind of lobbed that one up. So I'm going to dunk that right on in and show the job board. So thank you for, for the, the hanging that curveball for me. Uh, let me move Ken off the screen so the, the ladies can focus. And we'll come over here to jobs. So basically what this is, is as opposed to the regular marketplace where it's just, this is what I offer, buy my stuff. It's someone that, and we have had a little bit of trouble keeping people from, getting people to use it the right way, but, um, it is you, you know, if there's something you need that you're not finding, or maybe you're just not in the mood to search, you post, Hey, I need to transfer a Shopify, Shopify blog onto WordPress. Jim, that might be right up your alley, by the way, <laughs> uh, or need, I don't know what Captera is, but basically if you need something, you post it here and then people can bid on it in an auction type format, and then you can award it to whomever you think does the best job or will do the best job, I should say. So that's kind of what that is, Ken. Simo says, last list, uh, the thing about me is time, freelance needs engagement, and I'm preparing for my engineering degree, so I'm not that available, which makes it a bit of struggle for me. Well, you just do it here and there as your schedule permits, you know? A little extra, you're going, you're going for a degree, you'll need a lot of extra beer money. Not that I encourage drinking. Craig says, do you think there is a need for a YouTube channel and an analysis? Ooh, that was tough. Slash tips service. Could be. Probably. I say yes. Yeah, if that's the skill you have, you should definitely have it on, on there. I'm, I'm not going to pick on you here, Craig, but like, but we get that question a lot. Should I put this service up? Should I put that up? The answer is always yes, because you never know. You know what I mean? Like somebody may stumble, there may be just that one person that needs it. And just the, the time you have to put it there, you took to put it there. The time that you take to list it 
is worth that one sale that you might get someday. So the answer is always going to be yes to that. But that I think is actually a very valuable service that more than one person would need because YouTubers are big. Wassila says, Simo, no problem. It's been uh, nice connecting to you too. Brian says, okay, I'll message you later. But yeah, thanks. I think that would probably be easier, Brian. Uh, by the way, love the chatter. It is the community. Love it. Love it too, Brian. And thanks for always showing up and being so consistent and loyal and on, on all these things. Loyal is probably not right, the right word, but you, you, everything you do, we do, you support. So we definitely recognize and appreciate that. Ali says, I've attended the previous one and it was pretty helpful. I made a search of video animation service, but haven't found a lot. Does that mean if I create and offer a 2D animation service, 2D animation service, I would get sales? I mean, it's, I can never say yes, you're going to absolutely get sales because that's opens me up to a whole other can of worms. But I think there's definitely a need for that. Yeah. And somebody else listed some the other day too that I thought were pretty cool. So yeah. And there is a bit of a bug with the search that we're going to have fixed soon. So that might be part of the problem too. But I definitely think that you, I think that's good. I, I had a video animation service for a while that did okay for me. I just, I can't be bothered to, to, I get very frustrated doing that kind of work. So it wasn't a good fit for me, but I think so. Yeah. If you can do that, you should definitely list it. But does it mean you'll get sales? I mean, you, you might have to do a little bit of work up front, but there's one guy, uh, video King, I think is his username. He's done very well. So I think there's a great opportunity. I'm just going to jump in and say, <clears throat> this would be a good opportunity for you. If you offer 2d animation, take the legit logo, take the legit website in some way, shape or form, put it into a 2d animation, share it with the Facebook group. Um, you know, people love seeing legit in things on things involved in stuff. Um, and if that's a skill that you have, it's a, it's a pretty easy way to get yourself some exposure um, and uh, make a name for yourself. Yeah. Muktesh has done Muktesh Patel, one of our top like uh, sellers. He's done very good about that. He, every once in a while I'll wake up to hit like seven things that he sent me with the legit logo. And it just, it makes my day to wake up to those kinds of things or get them in the middle of the day. Ken says, sure. Last list says, I don't know what your, I don't know your schedule of course, but I'm sure there's some sort of realistic engaging goal you can set. I think he's still talking to, uh, to Simo. Paula says, do you have data as to how many people search for video testimonials, for example? Um, not readily available, but I think that there's definitely people that would be interested in it. Simo says, watch list. Thanks again. I'll figure that out. A little extra income is no harm. Exactly. This doesn't have to be your career, although you certainly can make it. I make a lot of money doing this. It's probably not being the owner, but actually being a freelancer is probably like my third biggest, third or fourth biggest income stream. So it's still a big part of what I do. I'd sell on the platform, but just not just because it makes me money, but to set an example and learn the platform. But I, you know, I want to practice what I preach and lead from the front too. And other platitudes. Brian says, mine's good. That's what I've heard about you, Brian. <laughs> now you're right. Your video service is very good. Amber says, I spelled it. Oh, I missed. Did I miss a question? Yeah, you missed a couple. Oh, my bad. Okay. Simo says, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you could set like some sort of realistic target, like joining the stream once per week or engaging in the Facebook group five minutes per day, something like that. Yeah. 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 I don't have anything to add to that. Paula. Uh, <laughs> Jim Seville, go, it won't tag her, but that's a lot of kids that would, did I miss more? No, that was it. Okay. That would love a grandma, make a grandma service, maybe like a grandma monthly box, just an idea, uh, uh, just an idea of a need out there. That's true, actually. Uh, I probably didn't think that there are kids who could use a, uh, a grandma's sense of uh, reassurance. <clears throat> there you mine, go. Yeah, Amber. mine has been gone for quite some time so i could use that sometimes too <laughs> uh let's see now you're back to where you were before okay <clears throat> simo said or wasla says simo yep can't imagine you regretting making more money haha <laughs> exactly all right 
Wow, that was fun. We're caught up on questions, so I'm going to drink some water. Awesome. <clears throat> yeah, I think um, you know, I had some some notes and bullet points and stuff that I wanted to cover here uh, during downtime if we had any, but um, you guys have done a really good job of bringing those up. And um, just to rehash it real quick, the people who engage in the platform and the people who, who take advantage of the things that we offer and the community that we offer and, and um, you know, like the weekly roundup and, and all this stuff that we try and put out there, even if it, even if you can't make the, the, uh, the daily streams, or even if you can't make a, a ton of time in your schedule, if you can find a little bit of time just to engage with one another and, and be active in the Facebook group and do stuff like that, then, um, you know, if you put in the effort, the rewards are most certainly going to come. Brian says, Grandma can read stories to kids. That's a good idea, too. I agree. That, uh, well, not that part, but the part before, uh, reminded me of uh, your favorite recent example of Charlene from this uh, this past week. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I thought about bringing that up earlier, but I didn't know quite the demographic there, and I didn't want to offend her by comparing her to... No. I don't. I didn't mean the grandma part. Oh, I mean, okay. <laughs> sorry, Charlene. Uh, but uh, I meant her showing up and putting in the work. Yeah, yeah, she's done very, very well so far with a service that is not SEO. Which you know, somebody else was saying that it was all SEO. She does. I don't. I totally get it. Some sort of email marketing sequences. Right. Brian says, Chris, what do you mean by silos as in structure and how do they work? That's an SEO question. Basically, it means taking a type of a top level category and then linking that to another uh, like subcategory, not subcategory, but subtopic within that and then linking that to another one and linking that to another one and then linking it back up to the top. There's some training on that that uh, Jeff covers too. He's much better at explaining those than I am. But basically, it's just taking a big topic and getting smaller topics underneath it that relate to it. So like, like uh, cooking and then it could be like paleo and then it could be like keto and then, you know, so on. So something like that is a very, very quick example. <laughs> Amber says grandma service equals birthday card and little positive notes. I see my kids miss out on that. It would be great. Awesome. I expect to see that up uh, online tomorrow, by the way. Mm. That'd be good. It's, uh, <clears throat> I enjoy seeing people interacting with each other, not only because it helps us uh, not have to, to babble on, like, <laughs> but uh, I really enjoy seeing everyone kind of helping each other grow. That's uh, it's a very heartwarming feeling. Absolutely. Me too. It, it sounds cheesy, but it really does like make my day to see those sor sorts of things happen. Me too. Simo says, am I allowed to provide you with a link to my service so that you can take a look? Absolutely. I would love that. We haven't had one yet tonight. And we've had some people that have been specifically complaining throughout the week, just to hammer home this point, about having trouble making sales. I was like, show up to this thing and give me your link, and I'll tell you exactly what, what you can do to make it work. And just like I did for Brian, I think last time we did one of these, just like I did for Wasslist of a little while back, and both of them are doing their sales now, so... So yeah, go ahead and drop, not to, now that I'm done lecturing, go ahead and drop your uh, your link and we'll be happy to take a look at it. Wassla says, I think she writes the copy of a five email sequence. Great service to have on the marketplace as everyone needs email marketing, of course. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And you really know what's going on. I appreciate that. Brian says, okay, I'll check that out further. Cool, cool, yeah. I, I didn't explain it very well, but it, it, Jeff does a great job. And there's like five or six different ways you can do it, but it's, it's very powerful. So if you're doing lots of content, it's a great fit for what you're doing. So, and with what you do, you could probably benefit from it, I think. Paula says grandma for hire, Amber. Not that Amber is a grandma, I don't think, but I think, <laughs> yeah, that, that's a great idea. Just want to make that clear though. <laughs> Actually, what's a good username too? Grandma for hire, yeah, that is good. I can see that, you know, nice uh, grandma for hire username with some some grandma specific services packaged underneath it. Mm -hmm. I see where this is going. 
Makes I me like wish that. I was a grandma. <laughs> yeah. You could hire one <laughs> tomorrow. All right. Well, Simo should be dropping his link any moment here. Uh, I don't know. Anything you want to tease that we might be having come out soon? I don't know. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. But the, the question that I asked last time, which I think was a good question, I'd like to ask it again. If you guys here could just drop in the chat where you are in the world and what time it is for you. Um, not only is it cool to see how far into the world we're reaching, but uh, it also helps to make sure we're providing this at a time that kind of works best for everybody, which is obviously impossible to do. But uh, we try and make sure we can be accommodating as much as possible. Yeah. Simo, you know, I mentioned the blog images earlier. You can make a recurring service for 30 per month or something like that. Well, it seems, sounds like you need to make a service suggesting services that people can create. I'm not even kidding. I think I am a little bit, but I, you have a real talent for this, it seems like. Yeah. It's actually, uh, <clears throat> Simo, if, I don't know if, if you have the creative gene uh, as well, but one thing that would be, would be pretty cool, uh, I've thought about it a lot, but never really pursued it, um, putting together packages of social media graphics for a company. Um, so maybe you make like a 12 pack of Instagram posts that cover the, uh, like all the popular holidays with the company logo in it. Um, so let's say I have a company that does web design. Uh, you take my logo and you give me back uh, 12 different images, one for each month, uh, one for each holiday that has my logo and something for 4th of July, something for Christmas, um, something like that. That would be, uh, I think, a pretty cool service to offer, just throwing the idea out there. Cool. Craig says, Michigan, it's 9.50 p.m. Sprat Col uh, Scott says, Calabash, North Carolina, 9.51 p.m. Yeah, I've been to Calabash before. That's like not even an hour from here. A uh, kid that I grew up with, his family owns a really big gift store there, Callahan's Gifts. So, yeah, I've been there a lot. I love the seafood. That's where a lot of like the local seafood restaurants get their seafood from. Wasslist says, I need to look this up because I'm not totally getting it. Or he's, Simo says, Wasslist, I need to look this up because I'm not totally getting it. Simo says, I dropped my link. Did I miss it? I didn't see it. Yeah, I don't see it. Let me look. Maybe it was somewhere else. If not, I bet I can figure out what your username is anyway. So give me a second. I'll see if I can find that. In the meantime, um, I can't click on questions, so never mind. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, see, I'm not seeing it anywhere, buddy. If you uh, maybe well, let me look on YouTube, maybe it didn't transfer over to uh, to Streamyard. I bet that happened. Do -do -do -do. Too many tabs open. No, I'm not seeing it anywhere. So if you just drop it again, I, I, I'll be happy to take a look, but I'm not seeing it right now, unfortunately. Brian says it's Melbourne, Australia, 11.51. I assume that means AM. That a great time for us on a Saturday as the footy isn't on. Oh, football isn't on. <laughs> United Kingdom, 2.50 AM. I usually go to sleep pretty late anyway. Me, you and me both. Simo says Morocco, 2.50 a.m. So wide variety here today. Wasla says that's a good idea, Jim, but I'm bad at graphics. I think he was talking to Simo, actually, but maybe I'm wrong. I make a lot of Pinterest ones for my personal blog, but they suck. <laughs> then you should partner up with Simo and put that together. Boom. Uh, Wasla says, damn, Morocco is the same time as the U.K.? I can't see it on YouTube either. Yeah, I think it may... You sent it to me on Facebook. Oh, all right. Let me see if I uh, maybe missed it in a message or something. There we go. It was a message request. All right. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Pretty sure I just whistled the Sanford and Son theme. I haven't seen that show in a long time. I don't think I ever watched it. I don't know why it just randomly 
The brain's a strange thing. Mm, yours especially, sir. That's rude. <laughs> All right. Everything you want, I can do with Photoshop. I like that title, even though it's a bit vague. It's I love the confidence of it. Photoshop expert, definitely going to have to change this because that's very plain, I think. No offense, but you know, I want to, I want to give you good advice. I, that doesn't jump out to me as, as somebody that's doing Photoshop. Wow, you really are very good, though. These are excellent. That's incredible. So yeah, you're gonna want to get a, a thumbnail that's catchier. You want to get you're probably gonna want to make this more specific. Um. You probably need to make just beef this up a little bit. I know you're just kind of just showing what talking about what you do. I think this service in particular is going to be a little tough to sell because it's not specific enough. Do you agree with that, Jim? Yeah, I think you'd benefit from uh, maybe within that service providing some good examples. Like um, if you have something in the background of a photo, I can remove it like a light pole or something like that. Um, or I can remove a background from a photo. You could. Uh, maybe provide some examples, not only on your main thumbnail, but also in the body of your, your description too. That would be mm -hmm. good. And let's take a look at your profile. It's a nice logo. It's an easy, not easy, easy enough username to remember. And it talks about what you do. So I don't, I don't think that's too bad. Hello world. I'm a young Moroccan graphic designer. I specialize in Photoshop and illustrator. I learned by myself and I can guarantee you a very professional service. That's not bad. I would talk a little bit more about specifically what you can offer, but that's not that bad. Uh, but yeah, we just offer some variations of things, kind of the stuff that you and Lost List have talked about, you know, and then just whether it's YouTube thumbnails, whether it's service covers, whether it's social media images, just break it out. Even though it's the same skill set, break it out into separate services that are a little bit more specific because everything you can do everything, do, everything almost means nothing. You know what I mean? So overall, I think you're off to a good start, though, and you are clearly very, very talented because these are these are fantastic, I think. So I don't know. Uh, anything else you can think of there, Jim? No, not really. I think I would just try and take more advantage of, like, the uh, the, the thumbnail to make it a bit more engaging. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe if you want to make it look like the logo is popping out of a different background or something, um, just try and catch someone's eye a little bit more than, than just a plain Photoshop logo. I think you'll be better off. Yeah. And then just some more specific services. And I think you'll be good to go. Because like I said, you obviously have the skill. So yeah. I heard a, a young one. Yeah, that's actually my dog crying. Oh. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Simon says it's 2.54 a.m. in Nigeria. That's awesome. I mean, it's not awesome, but it's awesome that you're here. Because I will always get people to say, oh, that's too late for my time, or I don't get up that early. I was like, well, then you don't want it bad enough. When I And I don't try to be a hard ass about that part of my language. But I, yeah, I, when I see people that are on here at three in the morning or two in the morning or whatever it is, or I don't have any sympathy for the people that say they don't have time. So, Simo says, I sent it to you on Facebook if you cannot find it on YouTube. Okay. Ooh. Scott says, I need to take action on legit, Chris. I came across you a while ago back on a Myrtle Beach SEO thing. <laughs> but I've never done online freelancing, just local video work and websites and stuff up here for the Carolina beaches. But right there, you just described like three different things you could offer. So yeah, just throw something up there. Be great to have another semi-local guy on there as well. I think I remember talking to you actually about that now that now that you bring it up. Simo says, ha ha, lost list. Yeah, same time zone. Amber says, grandma for hire would be a great monthly service. Although I always support them, but it's just me. They would love it. It's Michigan time. So tired, but hearts you guys. Oh, okay. Uh, have a good night, I think. Is the kind of the message there. Lost list, I never knew that. That's cool, though. Simo says, thank you guys so much. I thought that having everything in the same service is a good idea, but I'll make different services that offer different things. That's what we're here for is... It may seem obvious to us, but obviously it's not obvious. I mean, that sounds condescending. I don't mean it to. But I mean, it's a bad thing that a lot of people do is assume that people know things that they may not. And these can help you maybe think of things that you haven't. And frankly, vice versa. I think of things doing these that I wouldn't have otherwise, too. So. <clears throat> 
Chris, when, this is Brian says, Chris, when you looked at my profile, I had a, a lousy thumbnail. I don't wouldn't say it was lousy. I just it needed a little work. And uh, Jim suggested I go trade oriented. Yeah, I remember that. That was last time, I believe. Simo says, Wasslist, yeah, cool. Craig says, I can't find anything on Google about pricing for analyzing a YouTube channel. Any suggestions? I don't know. That's not something I have experience with. So I don't know. I think you just have to list out what you do and then estimate how much time and effort it's going to make it take you to do it and then kind of figure out how much your time is worth and just make that the price. Do you have any yeah. thoughts on that? Yeah, I think um, you really have to just figure out how much time it's going to take you to do that. Um, you know, you don't want to devalue yourself. Um, on the same token, you might also want to start on the lower side till you build up uh, some testimonials and some reviews. Uh, and then the more reviews and testimonials you have, <clears throat> the more you can start raising your price over time and demanding a uh, higher price for your service. All right. Amber says, while looking at the graphics guy, I have broken my stuff off. Graphics are a lot like content. Reword all services and see what sticks. Great. Kathy says hi. Hello, Kathy. Wasslist says, also, when you have a general service, you're giving the viewer slash potential customer such a wide choice. It is, isn't always a good thing. If they don't make up their mind, they don't buy. You really have a knack for this stuff. I'm not just trying to, like, whatever, but you really do. Like, you have good instincts on these things, I think. I agree. Yeah, I mean, I agree, obviously, that he's got a good insti instincts. <laughs> but uh, I also do agree that that you need to really give the buyer what they want. Um, you know, a lot of people might be looking for someone to remove background in a photo. And even though you can do it, if they don't see remove background of a photo written in your service description, they're not going to think about, hey, let me hire you to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, so you kind of have to really spell it out for people what service you offer and, and why they want to buy from you. Get pancakes. Simo says, yeah, Wasslis, you are totally right. After giving a thought, I need to be more specific. It also helps with exposure. That's right. Yes, sir. -y. All right. Going, wow, it's already been over an hour. Well, there's still a handful of people, well, a decent amount of people on. So if you want to keep going, we can keep going. But, you know, I'm running out of things to babble about. I'm not going to lie. Jim, you're muted for some reason. Yeah, my uh, my dog, Cooper, she's a she's a 12-year-old boxer. She can't make it up the steps by herself. And uh, everyone else is currently asleep. So either she cries at the bottom of the steps till I go get her, uh, or I guess that's... Those are the options. <laughs> Paula says, and then hire grandma to do the testimonial about taking out a background. There you go. Nice. Now you're seeing how it works. That's perfect. Timo says, I will do that. I think I will, it will work a lot better doing that. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Or Wasla says that to Simo. I'm getting confused now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's probably a good time to wrap it up so you can go take care of the dog. And, you know, it's getting kind of late <laughs> here on the East Coast. So any final words? Um, I think just to, to rehash what we've said a couple of times is take advantage of the opportunities that we, we give you guys. Um, show up to the live streams, participate in the community. And um, <clears throat> the more you're willing to participate, the more you're willing to put in the work. Uh, we are willing to work with you and we're willing to, to row the boat uh, at the same time and, and help in any way we can. Um, so, you know, it's really it. And, uh, I know I'm kind of saying the same thing seven times over, but um, help out in the community, work with each other, try, show up. And then if you're willing to put in the work, then success will find you. Yeah. A couple more things here. <laughs> Brian says, question, is swimming good for your figure? Answer, if swimming is good for your figure, explain a whale to me. That's a good point. Because whales are big. Jim didn't get it, but I did. Zemo says, yeah, I'm definitely starting to do that now. Good. Wasla says, have a great evening, everyone. Thanks for live streaming, Chris and Jim. Who is the design 
design it guy. I can't find him on legit. I will drop his service right now. Bam. So there you go. Oh, isn't that cute? So there's that. I think I missed one. Thank you guys so much for your care for the community. We don't see that much, and that makes you unique. Thanks again. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. For some reason, that link didn't share to Facebook. I don't know why. It's a, it did for me, I think. Really? No, oh, I see it. So I'm going to go with yeah. All right. Yeah, there it is. It's weird because StreamYard says it didn't work. Anyhow, who cares? Uh, Amber says, you guys are life-changing. I wholeheartedly appreciate you. And we feel the same way about you, Amber. Thank you very much. Thanks. All right, guys, I think that's good. We'll do this again in a couple weeks, probably. If you have any questions, if you need anything, there's always the legit Facebook group. You can do the Superstar SEO Facebook group, too, if you want. Um, and, yeah, anything else you want to say? That's about it. All right, Ken says, thanks, guys. Thank you, Ken. We'll see you again soon. We'll, I'll have a regular live stream probably tomorrow, although I may take the day off. And then we'll do one like this again in a couple of weeks. And most importantly, figure out what you want in life and go out and get it because you owe it to yourself and you owe it to the world. Talk to you again soon, guys.